and welcome back to America's Forum. I'm Miranda Khan, and here's a look at today's top stories. Americans don't typically think of soccer during the 4th of July weekend, right? But this year, it would have been fitting considering the widespread attention the U.S. men's soccer team received at the 2014 World Cup. Unfortunately, the United States suffered a heartbreaking loss to Belgium after U.S. goalie Tim Howard had a record-breaking performance. The team's play even impressed President Barack Obama. Clint, Tim. Hello, Mr. President. How's it going? Hello, Mr. President. Man, uh, I just wanted to call and say you guys did us proud. And the president called members of the U.S. men's soccer team from the Oval Office yesterday and praised them for capturing the minds and hearts of Americans. Obama is said to have watched the World Cup from Air Force One and with his staff at the White House. The president ever led a I Believe chance. More than 22 million people tuned in to watch the USA versus Belgium match. That's 3 million more viewers than the final game of the 2013 World Series. And it was an early July 4th for President Obama and the First Lady. Yesterday, they spent the day celebrating with more than 1,000 military personnel and their families. There's a look at some of the footage there. They enjoyed an Independence Day barbecue on the White House South Lawn. Later, they watched fireworks at the National Mall. And in Philadelphia, an investigation is underway on a fire involving two tour buses reportedly belonging to the crews for rock band Sticks and Foreigner. Video shows the fire starting on one bus, bus rather, and spreading to another. You can see there, there were no injuries reported from the scene. The bands are scheduled to perform together, despite everything, Thursday in New Jersey. So you're good there. Uh, an Iowa teenager who was swept away into a storm drain has now been found. Firefighters found the teen's body. Has now been found. Firefighters found the teen's body late Tuesday. He was in a lake more than a mile from where that storm sewer initially swept him away. The 17-year-old was with friends when he when that storm drain flooded. It sucked him in and then into that body of water. Another teen was pulled into that same storm drain by the fast-moving water, but they were able to get out of there. Oh, it's just tragic. To yeah, that was tough. That weather uh, and weather's been an issue in the All midsection over. of this country, but also now on the East Coast uh, right. right now as folks are getting ready for the 4th of July weekend. Some folks are keeping a close eye on Hurricane Arthur now with tropical winds sustained over 80 miles per hour. You're thinking about your friends and family, I'm sure, well, in I'm Carolina. Think about all my pals. You know, the, the tradition is for, as a North Carolina native, a lot of my friends who grew up there, they all head to the beach for July 4th, mm -hmm. but right. this year there may be a real change in those plans. And it was interesting moving out west, I used to tell them, well, gee, you ought to try the Pacific coast, although you don't want to swim in that really cold, cold water. But you see what is happening there as we saw the path of Hurricane Arthur, the first storm of the Atlantic season. And uh, we'll continue to monitor that situation. Uh, speaking of the Pacific, Right. There is one other story. Here, this is amazing. Right. This is amazing video. Brace yourself for this. Um, there was a, a photographer right here, and as you can see, he was out there in the Pacific yeah. Ocean trying to catch some pictures of a blue whale. And he got a little bit closer than I think he intended to. And you're going to see it coming up here. He's sitting there standing on the bow of one of these inflatable boats. He captured a picture, and the, the, a whale actually comes up underneath, breaches the surface of the water there, and causes the photographer to go in. He was able to get the shot, and I think we'll have that coming up for you. It looks just like the mouth of this blue whale, one of the largest creatures yeah. on the planet. There's the shot there right there. there. That is the da, 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 da. Sorry, the yeah. Jaws theme. <laughs> right exactly. Yeah, yeah, it was a 21-foot boat. Isn't that just amazing? Look at, at that. And there in the ocean getting real close. You know, you, you, you got to be careful. Uh, yeah, Mother this, Nature this is, a is whale. in control here. And <laughs> nature this is, a whale. is in control here. And but thankfully, everybody was fine, in case anybody's wondering about that. I mean, though the boat went into the ocean, everybody's okay, and, and we were able to look at some amazing footage. And the, the memorable picture. Now, I wonder, you know, you see all those motivational posters that are out there. I just, I don't, there, I just, I don't know if you can take that, that gaping mole of the, uh, the mammal known as the whale and come up with um, some sort of inspirational phrase. I'm sure you could. Have Come a whale on. of a time, uh, something for good dental health. I mean, were you, I couldn't <laughs> see the whale's choppers uh, there. Right. Yes, the, I believe that's one of those whales that does not have the actual teeth. They have the thing so they can filter out. They filter yes, out. The, the largest, these, the largest animal. We're going, going to, to learn, we're going right to learn whale <laughs> dentistry right here. These are not killer whales. These are gummy 
whales. Gummy, right? gummy whales, there you so go. So to speak. There you have it. But apparently territorial, all the same. Right. Or maybe he just didn't want his picture taken at that moment. Kind of yeah, like what we see with the, the paparazzi shot? out in uh, Los Angeles. <laughs> There's a whole concept there, wildlife paparazzi. The animal kingdom strikes back. That's right. Uh, it's well, a, it's and a that different. camera looked to be expensive. Did you see that lens? But I, yeah. more importantly, this guy's pictures are getting circulated all over the place now. So I think he'll be able to buy a new camera. I mean, look at that lens. Yeah, I wonder if the camera made it. What's I'd wild is his react just how quick, boom. Yeah, wasn't expecting he, uh, that at all. He got the shot. And in this day and age, when we have so many cameras, I would imagine this is one of those GoPro cameras. This guy, very savvy to have a camera focused on himself while at the same time trying to, to uh, capture wildlife well, here. For social media, isn't, hasn't this become the whole thing This is now? it. This you, is have it. To, you have to self, you become a self-documentarian. Uh, your own electronic diary that you share with the world, and in this case, just happened to be incredibly convenient to get all that footage, and it's ended up on television and now on Newsmax TV. You're getting uh, some selfie ideas already. The, I can see that. Well, you know, <laughs> there, there's there. one. There's one common malady. Whatever a, a person's political label or partisan philosophy, none of us who run for public office suffer from a shortage of self-esteem. So perhaps. In a sense, Miranda, you <clears throat> you read my mind. Perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, we need to have you articulate what's on your mind. You want to talk about dental health in Wales or whatever. <laughs> Why don't you tweet us your comments at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. There's also email and Facebook. Our faces come back following the break.